right. Hi, my name is Dustin Bivin. Um, I'm currently an active service member of the United States Army Station here at Fort Bragg. Um, I'm married to my wife, uh, Michaela Bivin. We have two children in Rome. Well, one comes next month. Um, a son named Benjamin and a daughter. Names up in the air, so we're kind of cutting it close, but uh, yeah, she gets that one, so I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, my educational background, I'm going to give it to you guys. Uh, I dropped out of high school, got my GED, went back from my high school diploma to impress my wife, I guess. She was my girlfriend at the time, so I got to do something, right? Uh, so the father in law approved that, got my high school diploma, enlisted, and I'm going on three years now. So uh, now with my little girl coming, um, we're going through a lot of changes. I'm changing my MOS, hopefully get a new duty location. So I'm stoked for that. Um, hope to go overseas, Korea, Japan, Germany. Germany, that sounds nice. Um, but we'll see. It's all on Uncle Sam's hands. Um, I'm the son of my mother, Reba Wilson, and uh, my father, Michael Bivin. Uh, my mom, she's uh, currently in recovery. She's a server at a round table, so she loves that. I think she just made management, so kudos. Uh, my father was diagnosed with MS, so he's kind of a, a NASCAR driver. In all reality, he's confined to a wheelchair, but make a lot of an illness. It's always a good thing, right? Um, and yeah, um, present day, uh, I find myself trying to accelerate my career as well as my education. Um, I'm constantly trying to strive to go into every class the military has available. Um, you heard the past speakers say uh, secret clearance helps out big in the uh, civilian field. It does. Um, I'm also going for my top secret, so uh, let's see what that does. Um, as far as my education, I'm going for my associates of arts. My term, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just picking the classes they say to take, and uh, I found myself in this one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I'm loving what I do. I'm loving going home and seeing my son run up to me and uh, give me a hug. It's always a, a rewarding feeling when I create something so beautiful and something so caring. So, it's good until he starts to speak fluently. And, yeah. Um, but, yes, yeah, so in the future, I want to find myself happy, uh, happier, if that's even possible, with a growing family. My wife keeps saying she wants a four or five. We'll see. But uh, I think three sounds good. Um, yeah, and just uh, die in a, in a pleasant way in my sleep with my wife on my side. Yeah, so that's me. If you guys have any questions, I'd uh, love to answer them. Yes? Um, do you plan to make the military a career? I sure hope so. Um, with weather downsizing, we'll see, but uh, I'll strive to be above that cut. So. Yeah, you look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I might be a keeper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, was this your first station? Uh, this is, yeah. Um, I found myself in Virginia. I'm from California. I found myself in Virginia because I moved with my sister. Uh, she was stationed up there at uh, Norfolk. So I was stationed here. So, rocking it. What's your MOS? I'm 91 Bravo. Uh, they say I know how to work on vehicles. I don't. But uh, they keep coming up to me and I keep telling them <laughs> some answers. So, I feel the right ones. So. That's me. Thank you, guys.